Hello everyone, in this video we're going to have a look at the new Melee 2 module for Game Creator 2. So let's dive right in. So here we are in our uh, scene. This is um, one of the first example scenes and uh, it gives us the good opportunity to have a look at um, you know, what Melee 2 offers. Um, if you're familiar with Melee uh, 1 for Game Creator 1, it was definitely um, the module I use the most, but also the module I actually, you know, tweak the most. We use melee upgrades, uh, tons of other little tweaks to extend the module. So it will be really exciting to see if, um, you know, melee two actually integrates most of those additional changes everyone was looking for and if it offers more. So when we have a look at, um, you know, this scene, it's really simple, um, you know, equip and then uh, left mouse to attack. And, you know, that's, that's pretty standard. So um, when we have a look at what equipping does, um, it works really similar uh, to how it worked in, uh, you know, in Game Creator um, 1 with Melee 1. Um, so that's really good to see. Honestly, it's, it's nice that um, you know, it's familiar in a way. However, it's also, um, you know, inter interesting to see what changed. So as you can see, we have this um, weapon uh, here, this melee weapon. It doesn't really have any names or anything attached to it. Um, and it has a, uh, a simple light attack um, as a, a combo. We can see we can add new uh, skills uh, and new sub skills. So it's definitely new. Um, on equip, and this is one of the things I actually really, really like. Um, on equip, we can just, um, you know, use the action to attach a prefab, meaning that we can also call these from a global variable, making the whole setup um, combined with uh, inventory, for example, to have, um, you know, the melee weapon being separate from the actual mesh so much easier than it used to be. I'm actually incredibly happy with this. Um, Cause yeah, this will make the whole setup um, with using uh, inventory as well, uh, just so much easier. So yeah, really excited about this um, small but significant change. Um, so I'm going to uh, skip ahead a bit um, and have a look at this one. So this is another, um, another one, uh, really exciting change, which it was just really difficult to do something like this with, um, with uh, Melee 1 in Game Creator 1. It was incredibly difficult to, uh, you know, do charged attacks, even though, you know, they're quite common in, um, yeah, there we go, nice. So as you can see, we have the normal attacks. I hold the button and we do a charged attack release uh, when I release it. And it's something that is really common in games, but it was actually incredibly difficult to do with uh, with Melee 1. So one of those nice little changes to see that just being integrated um, and set up. So if we have a look at how that's actually done. So equip, um, we have weapon three. And we have a look and you will see we have our uh, light attacks. And we have this uh, flash strike. And we'll have a look at those skills in a bit because those skills have changed a lot as well compared to the first one. Um, another really uh, important thing here um, is definitely uh, outside of input. So we have a, a bit more changes, which is um, you know really nice with blocking is incredibly similar to how it worked in the first one. So the charge attack being a really big difference. Uh, another one uh, that is actually a really big difference is this uh, motion warp. If you're not familiar with this, this is basically what um, the Batman Arkham and uh, the Spider-Man, uh, the new Spider-Man games use. So um, one of the issues you often had was um, if you know you had um, you basically have the animation, the animation uses root motion and it has a certain distance. So if you're just too far away from it, you know, it just won't hit anything. Um, with motion warping, you, as you can see, if I stand really close, it will do it like this. If I stand further away, it will do it like this. And that's actually um, incredibly awesome um, because that makes combat a lot uh, easier to do in a fluid manner. So like you see in Spider-Man, like you see in the Arkham games, um, makes it incredibly, uh, incredibly fluid. And this is something that was 
or let's just be real, impossible to do at all um, with Melee 1. So this is an incredible change. Um, I think this is definitely one of the key uh, key features of Melee 2 is definitely the motion warping. It, it's, it's a huge thing. So um, we'll have a look in a bit uh, at the skill as well. So as you can see, um, when it comes to uh, our skills, so this was similar to um, what the melee clips were in the first one. Um, so we have a lot of similar things. You know, we can set all of this up. Um, charge options, strike options, trail options. Um, sound effects, so again, all pretty, pretty similar. Um, we have the animation itself, of course, and I think it's quite, it's actually going to be quite useful to have a look at this one. So when you look at the animation, and let's pull this up a bit, um, you know, it's it's quite a distance already, but obviously not that big. So when I was standing here, um, you know, it made it so that I could literally use it all the way up to uh, the actual target. But when I was standing close, it also made it a short range attack. And that's really cool as well, because that means um, you know animations can be used more in a more useful manner, close and from a distance. So, yeah, this is uh, honestly this is <laughs> this is huge. This is such a such a big thing. Um, so when we have a look at um, the rest of the skill, and obviously the the manual uh, will change this. One of the things I really like is we have uh, enter skill mode, um, and we can just literally preview. Um, you know preview exactly what happens on these so we have the active state we have the recovery state we have all of the basics however we can also add uh, key points where we can um, you know add actions or instructions um, something that again is incredibly useful it's something that um, with melee one you really had to time so you had to have you had to add weights and hopefully they you know were correctly timed it was possible just incredibly annoying and i think this is more um more in line with actually uh, animation events so adding animation events the the game creator way pretty much um but yeah it's just incredibly incredibly useful i'm really really happy with uh with all of these changes so again a lot will be slightly similar to how you had it um you know, in melee one, so we still have these on start, on hit, uh, and on finish. I'm actually happy to see on finish as well, something that was lacking from the first one. Um, a lot is similar, but uh, you know, there's so so much just isn't. It's just so much more elaborate. You don't have to do many of these things. That's you know, if you want a, a quicker setup. Um, however, it does allow us to uh, to do quite a bit more. And when it comes to the motion warping, that um, you know, as mentioned before. So when you look at motion, we have none. Um, so basically it will just be still. We have root motion. So it will literally play exactly um, like in the animation clip, um, if the animation clip has root motion. And with motion warp, um, it will do root motion adjusted for that distance. So yeah, in incredibly cool. Um, really exciting to see this change. Um, another really exciting thing uh, for me personally is definitely uh, the takedowns. I think I've covered this in so many videos with Melee 1. Um, takedowns were, well, let's be honest, they were quite difficult to set up. Um, we, you know, we had to use some trickery. And again, this was not really, you know, a, a fault of Game Creator 1. Even big games like The Last of Us actually use a lot of camera trickery to hide um, you know, strange movement um, with takedowns. Even when you have a look at, um, you know, the lately um, released uh, Jedi Survivor, um, you will actually see the player almost like sliding to a specific spot to do a takedown as well. Actually noticed that several times. Um, so that's definitely something that is just incredibly difficult to do in general. Um, has little to do with, um, with Game Creator 1. However, um, for Melee 2, it, it's just been made incredibly easy to do this. Um, so as you can see, um, we can walk and then he'll do the takedown. All perfectly adjusted. Um, actually looks incredibly natural. And then if I stand here, you'll see that again, the, <laughs> the animations are just perfectly adjusting. Um, th the transition of the enemy turning towards the player just looks 
natural. Um, we have that little movement towards the play uh, towards the enemy as well um, to make it, um, you know, to still always make it even from a slightly bigger distance. But it lo just looks realistic no matter which angle we go at. No camera trickery needed, which is, you know, I'm incredibly happy about that. Um, and it just looks natural. It, it just looks great. Um, so as you can see, you know, it doesn't really matter how the player is positioned, doesn't really matter how the enemy is positioned. It's an incredibly natural transition. And yeah, this is, I mean, for me personally, this is huge. Uh, not just for takedowns, obviously, this would also count for finishers in a game, which is, again, something that is um, incredibly common. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to see all of this built in. Uh, no more uh, tricky workarounds, um, you know, trickery in general uh yeah this is uh this is amazing now one of the other things you might have noticed in this scene is definitely um you know the fact that we have uh multiple hitboxes and that's one of the things that uh, melee one was missing so we also always had one prefab so it was just going to be right hand left hand um, and in this one we can use uh you know both we can use the feet um, which for combos is you know quite important now, if we have a look at how this is set up um, let's have a look at our brawl weapon here and this is actually a complete one which I would definitely um, uh, you know definitely like to highlight a bit uh, a bit more as well so as you can see we have a weapon and we don't actually have the direct skills uh, attached so we can have embedded which is how it worked in uh, in melee one uh, and what we saw before or we can have a separate asset now one of the reasons this is really cool is that means you can actually reuse it um, but also just keep the all of this a lot more organized than cleaner um, so yeah we have uh, our combos uh, here so those are the skills and we'll have a look at those skills in a bit but uh, I think the most important one is definitely going to be the the takedown um, you know we have deactivate as well uh, by the way um, which again was something that was added later with melee one so it was possible as well so we'll have a look at uh, takedown so brawl um, takedown 1a and we have you know as you can see we have the animation we have the motion warp as well so that's what I meant like if we're a bit further if we're um, you know a bit um, closer actually it all adjusts so more again motion warp is incredibly important um, but we have our sync reaction and this is the thing that is just really really different um, compared to uh, you know how you would well do this anywhere else is we have a sync uh, takedown uh, reaction um, that we can literally call upon directly from the skill so yeah this is yeah, I'll be using this a lot. I will be covering this a lot. This is amazing. Now, obviously, we have uh, quite a bit more that has changed. And again, things that were quite important with Melee 1. Um, and yes, you could do it. I mean, I, I think I've set up, I don't know how many different targeting systems. But they were not actually really part of Melee 1. So Melee 1 simply had a focus, defocus on enemy. And that's pretty much where it stopped. So with Melee 2... Um, you know we have multiple targeting options um, which is really cool so we have um, no let's not save anything we have simply closest and right now that's matched to a button uh, tab obviously that's something we could simply do uh, dynamically uh, closest is definitely something that I have used uh, quite a bit actually in tutorials um, I think my brawler series does um, does closest as well and um, you know if we are closer to another with a tab button um, will cycle now yes we could simply um, have this be automated so no need for the tab button um, we can make this an automatic system um, and it works like you know closest is definitely a solution um, not a big fan of manual control for that um, bit older fashioned we have a target cycle as well 
Um, it's definitely game types that would be useful for this. So when, uh, for example, you would do uh, turn-based, if you're interested in a turn-based or at least semi-turn-based system, um, you know, cycling through the targets is huge. I'm not going to press play, you know, it, it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, roll up and you cycle through the targets. For turn-based approaches, semi-turn-based approaches, this is great. Um, and then we have direction as well. And this is definitely one that I would like to experiment quite a bit with um, because directional is something that um, seems so um, so logical to do uh, directional, uh, but it actually, you know, it's, it's quite difficult to set up um, with uh, the first one. Um, and uh, here uh, we have the ability to um, basically cycle directional. So as you can see, you know, when I'm pressing, um, oh, you can't see what I'm pressing on the keyboard, but basically, yeah, it's, uh, that's, you know, the directional approach. Now, yeah, I would like to experiment with this, uh, basically not have it, um, you know, not really having it set up like this, but try to do it with, um, with the input controls itself. So I'll be experimenting a lot with this, but incredibly interesting to, uh, to see this one. So yeah, quite happy with this. Um, so yeah, another really big change, uh, something I'm uh, incredibly uh, happy with. Um, we've got um, something else as well, and this will definitely um, need some experimentation. Um, it's cool to see first person be an example in here. Um, however, it's you know, it I think it does require a bit of a uh, bit more setup. Um, but yeah, we can definitely uh, experiment with this as well. So pretty cool to see this in there. And I'll turn it off because um, my motion sickness is already kicking up. Um, I think Brawler, obviously, uh, incredibly cool. I did an entire series on Brawler. So, uh, yes, I am personally quite excited about this. Um, you know, we have Dodge as well. We, we actually have some interesting options in here as well with uh, Dodge. I like the camera angle, uh, camera work that has gone into these demos we have the perfect dodge and reactions uh, just uh, takedowns just like before and i don't know if it's set up but i'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a perfect dodge yeah there it is there we go we have a perfect dodge system in here as well uh, which will be incredibly important for my uh zelda series uh having a perfect dodge so yeah looking forward to uh, to all of that really cool as well by the way when he falls down the, the natural way standing up some actually really nice built-in animations in here um yeah really really cool much better than uh with the first I, I really like this nice one so yeah it's a it's a quick view again i will be completely covering uh melee 2 in the uh, upcoming series that i'm going to do um so i'll go more into how it is all set up um i, I do think it's quite um you know, quite important to note that uh, setup is just really similar um, to how it is in uh, in Game Creator One. I don't really think it's all that different uh, in terms of setup. It is, however, incredibly uh, incredibly different in um, you know in terms of options. It's just so much more expanded. Um, we have charge attacks. We have takedowns. We have um, combos, counters, targeting systems, uh, perfect dodges. There, there's so much more to it. Basically, everything that you wanted to tweak um, with Melee 1 um, is already in here. And other things that you simply couldn't do with Melee 1 or Game Creator 1, simply impossible, like the motion warping. Um, huge thing. I actually think that's incredibly important for fluid combat. Um, so yeah, incredibly excited about this. Definitely the module I was looking forward to the most and personally has definitely exceeded my expectations. I am absolutely sure that after using it a lot more, I will want more to be added to it. That will always happen. Um, but so far, uh, yeah, incredibly great. Um, really, really impressive release. Uh, and I can't wait to start with this in the new series. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.